Hello, today I'm going to show you how to detect collisions between a rectangle and a circle on Android. I'm going to continue where I left off in the video about the collision between a circle and a point. If you haven't watched that video and the setup video yet, do it now. I'm going to put links to them in the description. Let's start by changing the radius of the circle to 100 so that there's enough space for the rectangle. Now let's create a rectangle. So rect equals rect f, import rect f, and the left border should be at 100, the top border at 100, the right border at 300 and the bottom border at 200. Now we can draw the rectangle in the onDraw function right after we draw the circle. Draw, rect, rect and paint. Now let's see the result. Excellent! The next step is to make them movable. So let's create a new variable called selected object of type any question mark and assign null to it. In the onTouch event function, when action is action down, we're going to check if one of the two shapes has been touched. If one has been touched, we assign it to selected object equals when rect contains xy rect when circle contains xy circle else null. So if the touched point is inside rect, we assign rect to selected object, else if the touched point is inside circle, we assign circle to selected object and if the touch point is in neither of them, we assign null to selected object. We can delete this line from the previous tutorial as well as this line. Now when action is action move and one of the shapes has been selected, we can move it. When selected object is rect, rect offset to xy, when selected object is circle, circle offset to xy and if no shape has been selected we can return immediately from the onTouch event function. Now we have to implement the offset2 function in the circle class. So put your cursor on it hit alt enter and create member function circle offset2. All we have to do here is to assign the parameters x and y to the properties of the circle. This dot x equals x and this dot y equals y. 
and of course we have to make the properties x and y mutable so var instead of val now back in custom view after moving the shape update the screen with invalidate and run the app excellent we can move both shapes now next comes the interesting part the collision detection for this Let's create a new file, call it collision detection, create a function called intersect that receives a rectangle and a circle, import RectF. The function returns true if there is an intersection, else false. So it returns a boolean. There are multiple algorithms to detect collisions between a rectangle and a circle. For the one I'm going to show you, we first need the distance between the center of the rectangle and the center of a circle. So val x distance equals rect center x minus circle x. This time we need the absolute value. So surround this with math apps. Copy the whole line for the y distance. First, let's look at the case where there is definitely no intersection. For this, imagine a rectangle around the original rectangle. The distance between these rectangles is the radius of the circle. If the center of the circle is outside the outer rectangle, there can't be an intersection between the circle and the inner rectangle. So, if the x distance is greater than rect width divided by 2 plus circle r, we can return false because there is no intersection. The same applies for the y distance. And the heights. Since we're going to need the half width and half the height multiple times, let's create two variables for them. Half width equals rect width divided by 2 and half height equals rect height divided by 2. Now we can replace these here. Next comes the easiest case. That's when the center of the circle is inside the rectangle. Then there is definitely an intersection. So if x distance 
is less than or equal half width return true and if y distance is less than or equal half the height return true. This only works because the previous two checks make sure that the circle center is inside the outer rectangle. Hmm. On second thought, instead of these two lines, we could write if rect contains circle x and oops, circle y return true. I think I like this more. So comment this out or delete them if you want. Hmm. On the other hand, to check whether a point is inside a rectangle has four comparisons and these are only two. So these are probably faster. So let's use them for now. The last case is the trickiest one. Because when we pass all these tests, the center of the circle has to be at the corners, just outside the rectangle. For this case, we have to calculate the distance between the corner and the center of the circle. So, val x corner distance equals x distance minus half width. Here the order doesn't matter because we're going to square it. And val y corner distance equals y distance minus half height. Next we can calculate the squared distance well squared corner distance equals x corner distance times x corner distance plus y corner distance times y corner distance. And finally, we can return true if the squared corner distance is less than or equal the squared radius. Hmm. Before testing this, let's make it a little bit more beautiful by creating an extension function of float to square it. So create a new file called extensions and in here create an extension function of float called squared which returns the value times itself. Now back in collision detection, we can use our new squared function here at the end to square the radius and here to square the components of the corner distance. Much better. Go to custom view and before updating the screen set collision to 
the result of our new intersect function with the rect and the circle passed in as arguments. Hope for the best and run the app. Seems to work. If you have the same result, well done. This was more difficult than I thought it would be. That's all for today. Goodbye.